You know there's some amazing concepts like Godzilla versus Jurassic Park dinosaurs or George from Rampage versus a Hypo Rex, those like special kind of hybrid monsters from the aisle where their mouth split open like a predator? It sounds amazing, right? Well, that's what we're watching. Check out Pivot Master, link down below for more awesome crap like this. Hey, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, George from Rampage versus the Hypo Rex. Now, before the start, he's carrying a mammoth. Before the starts, list, and also it keeps scaring the crap out of me, but that shadow behind me is my chair. It's not a serial killer. It looks like a hockey mask murder. It's not. It keep, it's just, I had to get that out of there. So anyways, I'm pretty sure George could Rampage the Hypo Isle. He's from a franchise called Rampage. That little mammoth looks like good protein. What a weird thing to say. But yeah, Hypo Rex is, I guess it's still bigger. It's much more dangerous than a regular T-Rex, but like, George, come on, man. Don't be bananas. Well, that one's big. That's a big mamacita right there. Dude, their mouths are so insane. I wonder if it would even help in combat to have your mouth open that wide. Of course it would. Plus they got those armored plating scales. Where is your mother? Oh my God. It's like about the same size as George. Now I don't know if they're the same size, this, this might go down totally differently. Damn! That would've been so funny if he missed and accidentally speared the baby. That would be so gnarly, dude. Oh yeah, like you got balls. Get out of there! That kid is a liability! Yeah, I don't know. The mouth on that thing looks pretty insanely awesome. I feel like George might be screwed. Oh, look at his little mouth! Oh yeah, no, he would need like Kong's axe for shizzle. Unless he's got some sick moves or he just grows bigger and bigger. I feel like he does that in the game, right? Oh. Oh, George, it's not looking good, buddy. Damn! Imagine the breath. See, his game's called Rampage, though. It's not like he doesn't know how to throw down. I can't imagine how difficult, how thick the skull would be on something like that. I don't even think bullets would do it. A good eyeball punch though? I don't know, man. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, George is so incredibly screwed right now. Oh, sacrificed his arm to save his face. Should've ripped the arm off. Oh, not the toes! That's against the Geneva Convention. Damn, at that point you'd think he would just eat George, but no, he specifically wants that bait. <laughs> and that little turd should've been running for cover. This is all on him at this point. You should've gone out of there, man. What were you thinking? I was wondering if that boulder was gonna come into play. Damn! Oblivious, not a thought behind those mammoth eyes. See, it, I feel like realistically George would still have to win against the Hypo Rex. They're not as big as George. George could get bigger and bigger and it's he's, he's Rampage, you know? That thing is a liability. Oh my god! No! This is horrific! Them toes is done for! Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. That was gangster. I've never even impaled somebody with a stick before. Jesus! He's got moves. That's that monkey power right there, bro. The power of height. Is he 
he just have to surrender at that point? Or is he gonna pull some crazy giant mega- God, that looks like a monster behind me. Oh my god. Zilla. Give him a little trunk slap. Damn, did he just die right there? See, it wasn't worth it. That's my only issue with like heroes, superheroes and stuff like that. Like Superman and Batman will die to save some random person. It's like, I, I get it's heroic, but society infinitely needs you more than that random person. That's how I feel to George right now. George, we need you more than that baby mammoth, dude. What were you thinking? Unless he's like the chosen one. Is he? Is he the chosen one? <laughs> I, I don't know. Godzilla was a Jurassic World Dominion. This is exciting. The movie would have been infinitely better. I loved it because I love all dinosaur stuff but way better why does that guy have such a muscular ass? does it need to be this distracting are those crickets i think them's crickets oh my god they're definitely locusts i guess i, I guess yeah that's what godzilla's come out of <laughs> oh yeah, because he hates anything that destroys natural ecosystems, right? He'd hate the crap out of them. Sounds done right there. But now what? Oh damn, shots fired. It is a strong point, though. Player just getting the wedgie of a lifetime. I was so confused if this thing just had extra thin eyelids or if it was blind. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> It's funny and all, but you just killed the hottest cast member. Do you realize what you've done? I guess Chris Pratt's pretty much up there too. What am I saying, Ian Malcolm? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Oh, how the turntables. I feel like Dilo would go against Godzilla. They're like the chickens of the dinosaur. I guess T Rexes are literally the chickens, but. Oh! Nasty! <laughs> I didn't even notice the parallel between them two. They both spit stuff. The Giga looks so incredibly epic in every rendition. That would've been so cool if that happened, but Rexy's old as hell. We gotta be realistic. She's like a grandma at this point. This poor Giga did nothing wrong. It was just existing and eating stuff below it on the food chain and everything just like jumped the crap out of it. <laughs> it wasn't even like the end where it was inherently evil. This thing was just trying to feed. Poor guy. Oh, th exactly. <laughs> exactly, dude. Absolutely. basically what happened. Seeing the spider would have been so cool though. That was so weird that they killed the Giga though. Like it was just existing. It really bothers me. I kind of forgot I blocked it out. Cause I get it. They gotta have big epic battles in the end, but it wasn't like the Indom, you know, or the Indoraptor. It was just a dinosaur. Like where it's looking for its place on the food chain. It had a place on the food chain, bro. But otherwise it was a pretty epic battle. Otherwise, I mean the movie, these videos are awesome. Well, Pivot Master dropping hot loads of epicness on my chest once again. It's a horrible choice of words. Make sure to check out his channel link down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.